Autism. What is autism? The dictionary categorizes it as a developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social interaction and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. In layman's terms, autism comes from the Greek word autos, meaning self. Therefore, they're, they're self-absorbed. A professor from the University of South Florida of St. Petersburg, Dr. Casey Frechette, PhD, had done uh, research on nonverbal communication, and this is what he has to say. Yeah, so um, I, I think that you know, in, in my time here, seven years uh, working with hundreds of different students, I've, I've certainly encountered students who have struggled to varying degrees uh, interpreting nonverbal cues. I think a lot of times I may not really be completely aware of that though because uh, unless the student is expressing this directly to me, uh, particularly in a, in a classroom environment where you have a lot of different students, uh, it, I may not be aware of, of exactly how much there's a disconnect. Uh, but separating out exactly how that meaning comes across uh, it can be can be tricky, and, and some people would argue that even if you take out the uh, the visual nonverbal cues, you have auditory nonverbal cues, the tone of my voice, for example, uh, the rate at which I'm speaking, the loudness of my voice. Uh, in a sense, these are also nonverbal cues, yes. uh, but they're auditory nonverbal cues as opposed to visual nonverbal cues. And the thing about communication that's so interesting is I'm sending messages nonverbally through these cues, but I might not be thinking about that uh, consciously. These are the four parts or the four lobes of the human brain. Here was a study done in a controlled environment of one normal 11-year-old boy and one who's the same age who is autistic. At the age of 11 is when you start seeing children's brains develop and how they're functioning. If certain children are lacking speech and language skills, this is when the, they should be seeking treatment and accommodations to help them out. If this goes untreated or undiagnosed, these children could have a hard time as they progress in school in later years. The next interview is with my mom who knows who knows a friend of hers or a col or an acquaintance of hers who has a grandson with autism and he's in the seventh grade. I think so. I really think so. Um, you know, he, he, need, he needs to, you know, there's a lot of needs to learn. I mean, um, you can't just be raised by your grandparents and go to school and not have any kind of intervention at all when, um, you know, your language deficient. Just because a person has autism, that doesn't make that person dumb. There are plenty of people in history, both American and world, who have had autism. One student in particular knows an autistic person at the University of South Florida of St. Petersburg. Lucas Bentecourt is going to talk about this one individual who has a tremendous has a good sense of humor, but can only do this with a certain amount of people. Uh, not not stuff that's so subtle, but I wouldn't really know, um, cause he I don't see a lot of nonverbal communication from him, so I can't really tell if he knows. Um, but I guess that's not verbal. Is uh, laughing like jokes. I like to crack jokes, and like there's just certain funny things that come up, and like he gets the fact that I think it's funny through laughing. So. You know, I think that uh, if there's a, almost an overwhelming amount of nonverbal communication, I'm not really an expert on this, but I could imagine that it could become overwhelming, a kind of system shutdown could happen. I think that it's important to always consider alongside of nonverbal communication, well, what is the, the verbal communication? Another way to think about this is you have the implicit parts of the communication. These are the nonverbal cues, 
but then you have the explicit parts, which is the words that I'm using to convey my meaning. To the extent that I'm communicating clearly explicitly, that is verbally, not non-verbally, but verbally, if I have clear communication, the nonverbal cues become supplemental. 